parents of a murdered daughter, murdered by MS-13 gang member, was honored and dishonored the State of the Union. This is a powerful moment, but we're also going to hear the heart of our, the heart and the compassion of our president towards these parents right now. Check it out. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. Can you imagine your young daughter, uh, she has her friends mm -hmm. and one of her friends and her are having a dispute or whatever and they want to make it right. And so you tell your daughter, you say, you know, I'm, I'll see you go down and see your friend and y'all work it out. And sure. that's the last time you see her because there's going to be MS-13 gang members between her house and home and they're going to beat her and her friend to death with bats and just, just that's just what's going on. And, and it's just been happening for quite some time. We've been talking about MS-13 mm -hmm. gangs. These are like ruthless, violent, you know, the more violent you are, they actually they get promoted based yeah. off that violence. And imagine people being ignored and not even, you know, calling it the new norm or whatever. Well, that's not happening anymore. Not with President Donald Trump. He's saying we're going to re root out MS-13. But the question is, what did what happened when these parents, because President Trump invited these parents to, to the uh, State of the Union to acknowledge their pain, to say, you know, there's many Americans that are suffering like this and we want justice and we want to stand up for them. And the question that, that we're asking, you know, what was it like for the, for the Alvarado family? What was it like to be able to meet the president? Well, let's hear what they had to say. It was definitely an honor and we were still shocked about receiving an invite. And, you know, this is something that we would, if he was asked to do it again, we would definitely do it. Yeah, we would. And it Elizabeth. Was, um, overwhelming. Go ahead. I'm sorry. It was, it was very overwhelming. Um, and I appreciated that, you know, that he let us come there to see him. It was an honor to see him. And you met with him before the State of the Union uh, speech briefly. And what was that like? <coughs> I'm sorry. It was, it was, it was Excuse good. Me. It was good. Um, you know, when, when we walked into the, to his office, um, it was just like breathtaking. And I had Nisa's pen on me. So I asked him if he would like, you know, if he could take it, you know for a gift and he took it and he took pictures with it and he took pictures with me with it and I you know he's very genuine very nice president um I have you know I, I I really am happy that I met him isn't that so important wow. that you're the leader of your country is compassionate towards those who suffered such great, I mean, it's tragic loss, the MS-13, the brutality. Brutality, satanic brutality. Yeah, satanic awful. brutality, literally satanic brutality. Yeah. And, and you know, our previous leaders were just allowing this to come in. That's why you want protection at the borders. You want to know if you're a part of MS-13, you cannot come in the country. But if you're a person who loves America, believes in America, and has the vision for America. This is what this it. border conversation yes. is all about, keeping Americans safe. We want to go real quick, like, too, that... You know, imagine that you're seeing, because people are making pol pol politics out of the death of your own child. Well, the, when, when the president shared with what was going on about the, the, the daughter, MS-13, yeah. the Democrats just sat down and didn't even stand up and honor the pain that they went through. And so the question is, what oh, did man. it feel like when the, the Democrats just sat there and didn't even stand up for your daughter? Listen to her father now. Well, I felt it was uh, very disrespectful for the simple fact the Democrats who was there who did not stand up, they were African-Americans. So that hurts me a lot to show that they did not have the respect or to honor what just happened to our lives and to America's lives. And it, it's not right, you know, regardless of how they feel about the president, they should show the respect because I would show them the respect if that was their loved one. That's so important. We're all Americans, you know, mm -hmm. no matter whether you're Democrat or Republican, liberal, African-American, white, Hispanic, Chinese, we all bleed the color red. That's right. God's created us all. We're all important. We've got to quit letting people divide us. In those days, the dividing are over. Mm -hmm. We need to be there for these parents and be there for this. Many people that have suffered losses of family members, this, 
brutal gain. And if that's been you, you know, and if you, how do you feel about this? You know, we want you to, to talk about what does it feel like? He stood there on behalf of you to share the compassion with these parents, you know, and to say, listen, you matter, your pain matters, and we're dealing with it, and we're going to rid our country of this thing called the MS-13 demonic game. And let us know. I want to be able to pray with you right now. Father God, we just pray for comfort right now for the Alvarado yes, family, Lord. Lord God, that you would comfort them and all the victims, Lord, of this MS-13. And Lord, we pray that you would just rid our country, purge yes. our country, Lord, of all those things that have been planted against this country and against you, God. And we pray right now for our community that you would keep them safe, everybody in our tribe, everybody that's connected in the tribe, the community, you would keep them safe, Lord God, and encourage them. Father God, and we pray right now, Lord, that you would end abortion, send revival, send a third great awakening, we pray. In Jesus' name, God bless. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. I'm your host, Greg Lancaster, and we're so glad that you've joined us. Don't forget you can join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download our app and sign up for our newsletter, The Torch, at vfntv.com. I've enjoyed our time together. God bless.